Seems like SN11 will be launching the afternoon of Monday, March 29th. This has been all but confirmed by an Elon tweet. So it's about 5 p.m. UTC Greenwich Mean Time. And so SN11 had to get an engine swapped out. Thanks to Trevor here for this amazing footage. You know, they did this last week, Thursday night. And then Friday morning, they had a successful static fire. And they were about to launch Friday midday until they decided to pull back and go for Monday. So here's a really quick recap of SN8 taking off. And then it's coming in pretty hot. Now, considering this was the first time that they flew this thing, it was quite something to see it almost make it. Shortly after came SN9, firing up right alongside SN10 over there. So again, they had some problems with getting enough thrust from the uh, Raptor engines, and SN9 came in even hotter than SN8 did, and ooh, thankfully SN10 wasn't damaged in the uh, landing process here of the rapid unscheduled disassembly. Now the most recent launch of SN10 was in itself another thing of beauty and this time around we were extremely close. Now the liftoff was perfect as the other ones before it and this time around the landing was that much more closer. Again there was problems with the thrust from the Raptor engines. Now there was some green flame over there problems with helium and pressure in the tanks and this and that but ooh, look at this she came in and landed and stayed upright look at that so that was SN10 and unfortunately 15 minutes later there was another RUD and of course SN15 will be next after SN11 already we can see its nose cone all ready to go Thanks to Nick here, the Astro guy. And Raphael posted this great new diagram of the updated SN15 thrust puck. Now let's not forget about Yusaku Meizawa's Starship Moon Mission. His Dear Moon Mission submissions for tickets on that Starship in 2023 have just completed their second round. Now NASA has a couple of pictures from the moon from the other side looking at Earth. It's quite spectacular. Imagine floating through space. Beautiful. So the community working together with Root have managed to decode live SpaceX radio broadcasts. So what you're looking at here and what these independent radio observers have done here, they have picked up these signals and remodulated them from the second stage of the Falcon rocket. It's quite amazing. But as of the last launch, it looks like SpaceX has picked up on it and started encrypting their signals. And if you're still with me here, don't forget Elon recently started accepting Bitcoin if you want to buy a Tesla. Of course, Doggy or Dodge users felt a little cold shoulder. But do not fret as Elon has recently built Dodge mining rigs with his kids. Now everyone knows Elon's rampant Doggy pumps. Now that he has incorporated the city of Starport, Texas, he has alluded that the official currency of this new interplanetary port city may very well be Dodge. SN11, Godspeed.